it's monomorphic here again. I've taken a lot to heart uh, what everyone has said, and I've test I'm testing a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes. Right now, I'm working with this uh, uh, this upside down uh, curved pyramid, and I had a lot of recommendations that I should move the emitter up and down, and I noticed that it was less efficient down here and and more efficient up here. Uh, uh, with a sort of a gradient between the middle and the uh, top. But I've really found that it was really efficient if I moved it over into the corner so that the uh, photons had more, uh, had to bounce around more and impart their momentum to escape. Uh, this is very easy to uh, illustrate. I've got a, a laser beam simulated as it bounces around inside this cavity. Let's play that. We're going to let this run for about uh, 150 uh, frames and then uh, do a very quick analysis. All right, we're getting close and stop. Okay, so uh, well, you can see what's happened with this laser beam is it's bounced around. It has to bounce around to get out and, and amazingly it, it, what it, has, it actually works its way around the whole shape. It doesn't. I, I thought that it would have to bounce its way around out of this corner, but apparently this this sort of focuses it it away and makes it bounce around in a uh, almost a spiral semicircle. And uh, I think it's that, that. First of all, we'll talk about all the uh, the downward bounces, and uh, you can count them up. There are eleven of them. There are twenty three total uh, bounces in this whole uh, cavity for this uh, for this uh, simulation. And uh, so there are 11 bounces, and I just want to talk about this a little bit about how you can see how, how the momentum is transferred laterally here. Not all of it is uh, transferred uh, down, as in the case with the, uh, the large upper surface. And uh, just so, to illustrate how that works, you can see uh, there are actually 12 bounces uh, for the large upper surface. So in this case, we clearly have a uh, net linear momentum up that, based on my conservative estimates, is at least an order of magnitude uh, better than a simple photon rocket. And uh, this, that's sort of where I'm at with the... Uh, I, I wanted to be able to clearly illustrate how it's possible to get uh, net uh, angular moment, uh, I'm sorry, net linear momentum up in a uh, asymmetric uh, optical cavity by bouncing a laser beam or a single photon around. I have, I'm going to test maybe some other shapes. Uh, I'm not quite sure how this one's going to work. I, uh, I have my doubts about it. And uh, that's where I'm at, guys. L let me know what you think.